Welcome to Capacity TV. I'm here with Norman from Afrix Telecom. Norman, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Pleasure. So what has been the key developments for Afrix over the last few years? I think the most important thing in the last two years has been the expansion in Africa of the services because until now we have seen a lot of, of the connectivity services going from Africa to Europe or from Africa to the US. But now we are starting to see a major change on that going into Africa to Africa connectivity. And this is uh, a key development for us. And how has wholesale demand over the last few years increased and how is Afrix meeting that demand? Well, I would say there, there are two, two main demands. The demand is growing 40% every year at least. But also the demand is, is growing because more people, uh, the, more people is using more services, but also the people who are using more services using more capacity. And, this, and these two drivers are, are, are giving the, a growth on the capacity that is, is quite high. So this means that we, have, we are migrating to a volume market from a margin market. And this is another global trend that we're seeing in Africa now. And what are your strategic priorities for 2018? Any that you can share? The main strategic priority is the extension of our coverage in Africa. We are in, uh, today in 19 countries. We have grown uh, five countries this year. Mm -hmm. And we plan to uh, cover, I would say, 95% of the countries of Africa, of the 54 countries, in the next two years. So uh, at the end of the year, we're going to reach South Africa with the East Marine Cable. And then from South Africa, we're going to start the deployment in East Africa that we are not still present there. What do you hope to achieve from attending ITW 2018? Well, you know, it's not the first <laughs> ITW that we're attending. We have been here yeah. many, uh, many years. But uh, I think now Africa is, is the growth of Africa is, is leading uh, the, the numbers, mm -hmm. in, not in the term of total capacity, if not in the term of the growth. Mm -hmm. And I think that uh, now many countries, they don't see Africa like a, a place that was uh, depending operations on somebody else. It, if not, Africa starts to have a, a very big economical weight. So we see that the headquarters are moving to Africa, more business are being developed in Africa, and I think that we want to transfer this message to all the operators, that there is a, a continent with a, a lot of needs, with a lot of opportunities, and where we want to be part of the development. And we will like all the operators and the content providers to, to help us to, in that development. How is Afrix growing outside of its domestic footprint? Well, I would call Africa the domestic footprint. <laughs> now we are um, collaborating with some other cable systems. Mm -hmm. So we are looking at, uh, at the Africa to America cable systems. There are two today. There is one cable system uh, that has been laid by Angola, where we are not participating. But there is another cable system that is living from Kribi that looks very interesting. Mm -hmm. So the connectivity for, from Africa to neighboring continents, mm -hmm. the interconnection with, of Africa, we'll call it, the, it itself. Mm -hmm. I think this is the, the key issue for, for us in the next one, two years. That's very interesting. Thank you for joining us on Capacity TV. Thank you, Natalie. Pleasure.